Hi, this is Brent Antrim, librarian at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a database tour of McGill on Literature. In order to get there from the college homepage, mouse over Student Support and click on Library. Your interface may look a little different because we're going through a redesign, but the search strategy should still be the same. Scrolling down on the library homepage, you would go into databases because you're looking for a specific database. Before we leave this page, I'd like to point out Ask a Librarian. This is 24-7 chat reference help. So if you're doing your research and you get stuck, chat with us and we will help you get unstuck. The databases, all databases, contains a list of all of the databases that we currently subscribe to with a short description of what's in each database. They're arranged alphabetically by title. So we're going to scroll down to Miguel on Literature. This is a database that covers the most studied works in literature, including short fiction, poetry, drama, and philosophy. So let's try and see if our author is in this work. If we go into McGill and we say, give me information about Joy Harjo, the current poet laureate of the United States and the first Native American to hold the post. When I search for her, I get a number of hits. Some of them are author biographies, and these take different perspectives. So this is looking at her as an American writer. This is looking at her as a poet. This is looking at her as a short fiction writer. This is looking at her in context with other writers around the world. And some of them are work analyses. Again, it has a lens. So this is looking at her short stories on these topics. And this is a specific short story, in fact. This is a work analysis of this one, and these are the subjects that it covers. A work analysis of this one, and these are the subjects that it covers. So you can tell before you even click on it what sort of things the particular entry is going to be covering. So if I pick one, and I decide I want to read more about this. This article will tell me what it's about, a little bit about the author, a little bit about her poetry, some of the subject terms covered within her poetry, maybe a picture of her, and then is the essay about her poems, including some original content from her poems. It then gives you the source for further study, other places you can look for it. And up at the top, it gives you options. You can save it to your Google Drive. I don't recommend adding it to folders. They tend to fall out. You can print it. You can email it. You can save it. You can cite it. So if I decide I want this, I can email it. I tell it who to send it to. I give it a subject. And over here on the right-hand side, I say, give me a robot's attempt at a citation. I ask for MLA because that's what's required in my class. Don't send it in plain text format and send it off. It will tell me it worked and I can continue. Then I can go back to my result list and perhaps add an author biography. Maybe this one specifically about her as a poet to my research, so I have two sources for her. Now, if I do a search for an author, say, Jim Butcher, he is a uh, has been writing the Dresden File books for about 20 years now, and he's an urban fantasy genre writer, and he writes within that genre. If I'm looking for an author biography of him, I might not find one. All I find are work analyses. But I can broaden it out. Say instead of the person, I know his works are set in Chicago, to the point where the city is almost another character. So I can look for other things also set in Chicago. And instead of leaving it open to the database, I can say, look for this literary locale. So I can look for works set in Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, etc. When I search that out, suddenly I have a bunch of things. 
And over here, I have to limit it. I have almost 500 articles. So I might want to go over here and I want to say, I always want to say, only give me full text. I want to get the actual article, not just information about the article. I might also say, well, they're all work analyses because we're talking about a specific city, not a particular author. And I can add a subject. Maybe I want to look at Chicago in the 20th century, for example. I can finally take a look at publication and say, here are all of the different works that include essays about the literary locale of Chicago. Some of these will be based on a particular writer who writes about that area. Some will be work um, titles. So if I pick one, once again, I can go in, I can read it, Notice that when you're looking at a work analysis, it's slightly different. It tells you a bit about the person, but then it lays out the work, the principal characters, the story within the work, a critical evaluation of the work, and some further reading that you can do about that work. Once again, up on the right-hand side, you have the same options to add to your Google Drive, print, email, save, or cite. If you have any questions at any time, Ask a librarian. Be well and good luck with your research.